Art is Miss Ellis. Welcome to Art with Miss Ellis. I'm Miss Ellis and this is... This is Quinn. And this is Palmer. And welcome to our third episode of our science series, where we are doing science-related art projects. Today, we will be designing and drawing our own ecosystem. For this project, you will need a regular sheet of white paper, a pencil, and something to color with, like colored pencils. So what's an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a group of plants and animals that interact in their environment together. So we are gonna start by drawing an environment or a pond and then add our plants and animals. So you should have a regular sheet of paper in front of you. Now, take your pencil and draw a line across your paper that dips in the middle, just like this. Notice that I left some space on the top and on the bottom. Now, draw a line from here to here. This will be land, and this will be your water. Now let's think for a minute. What might you see in a pond ecosystem? What vegetation might you see? Grass, flowers, trees. What about in the water? Algae, lily pads? Now, let's think about animals you might see on land. Frogs, snakes, rabbits, bugs, a fox, maybe a duck floating on top of the water. Now, what animals might you see under the water? Maybe fish, tadpoles, turtles, crayfish. Now, did you know that fish eat algae, ducks eat fish, and foxes eat ducks? Or that frogs eat bugs and snakes eat frogs? These are called food webs. Do you see how these plants and animals need one another? They depend on each other to survive. This is called, you guessed it, an ecosystem. Now that you know what an ecosystem is, draw and color your own. Make sure to add your land plants and animals above the water and your water plants and animals under your water line. Be creative and have fun with this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my video, please subscribe. I release a new video every Monday. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.